Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I am here at the Heise Studio at HIC 2019, and with me right now I have Kevin Ross. He is the CEO of Precision Driven Health and also a Director for Research at Orion Health. So good to have you here. Thanks, Jessica. It's nice to be here. Okay, so you're, you, Precision Driven Health is an interesting organization. You described it to me as a public-private partnership with Orion Health, and you're focused on kind of bridging a bunch of different organizations together in New Zealand, focused on kind of the digital transformation of healthcare there. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. New Zealand has amazing digital health records, mm. so it's had about 20 years of single ID number per person and really good records being kept. And all so, digital. All digital. Fantastic. So the opportunity is there to bring all that information together and apply all these crazy new data science techniques to actually build some cool tools. All right, that sounds awesome. So what are you guys doing? Like, what, what are some of the cool things that you've done? I mean, I understand, like, give us a sense, too, of, like, you said all the records are digital. They go back for a long time. So what kind of, like, I mean, give me a sense of volume here because that's always something that people, especially from abroad, think of when they think of Australia or New Zealand is that it's tiny. So is it really, how, how big is your sample set of data here? So New Zealand's a country of four and a half million people and basically every encounter that they've had with the health system in the last 10 or 10 to 20 years has been captured digitally. Awesome. Um, so what that means is that primary and secondary care data, while it doesn't all sit in one place, it's all possible to bring it back together and we can get, that means you've kind of got a natural longitudinal study on any person going back a reasonable amount of time. So what we try to do is actually have a look at that data and see what patterns you can identify in it to use um, within the health system. Okay, so lots to learn from the experience of just doing this, but so what do what you guys, give me some examples of some of the projects that you're working on right now. So we're working on things like um, a patient summary. So the first time that a clinician sees a patient, Traditionally, what they have to do is look up their records, open lots of documents one at a time, and open, you know, look at one thing after another to try to figure out who's this patient, what do I need to know about them. What we're trying to do is digitally summarize them on one screen, so give all of those records that are most relevant to their current condition really quickly available to the clinician so that they can actually quickly get to what's most important for that person at that point in time. Now that's something that actually takes bringing together all sorts of different data. So you've got sure. people's ethnicity and demographic kind of a data which is relatively static over someone's life. And then you've got devices they're wearing that's this really noisy data that you can't necessarily interpret on its own. And you've got things like medications that are structured but change over time and lots of notes. So most of the valuable information in health is actually written down right. as a letter someone wrote to someone yeah. else say this person's dealing with this condition so traditionally they have to read all those right so what we're trying to do is basically summarize all of that in one go to hey this person this is what their health history looks like and this is what we need to know about them right now you're going to get a lot of phone calls from my national my nlp people out there who want to use that natural language processing technology on those notes <laughs> absolutely yeah. yeah but that's just part of it so it's nlp along with all those other things yeah. that actually gives you the whole story sure so i'm i'm joking um so it, it, tell me now back up a second and talk to me about who is in this who else is involved in the public private partnership that you guys have established here so i mean you're working with the government i mean like give me a sense of like who are the players in the ecosystem in, in new zealand Sure, so it's a, it's a partnership between health IT companies, with Orion Health as the lead provider there, uh, District Health Boards, with Waitemata District Health Board is the lead in that organisation. What's a District Health Board? Uh, it's, it's, it's the local, uh, it's the regional provider of, of health for, for a district. Okay. Um, and then University of Auckland is the lead academic provider. And then we've got government funding as well to go to go with that. So we bring all those sort of four different groups together. And what we do is put together collaborations that have usually a data scientist with a software engineer and a clinical person actually trying to figure out how to make the best use of the data that's been captured. Okay, so what, type, what kinds of problems are you solving? Like give me some of like the, the working like problem statements that these, um, these little groups are working on. So we take on anything that has both a potential health benefit and a commercial tool at the end of it. Okay. So things like a readmission risk calculator is a classic example. If you can reduce the chance of someone needing to advance their care or come back for more care, then you help their health and you reduce costs for the district health board in our case. Uh, we're doing things like building apps that actually collect the data from other devices like vital signs uh, devices to give you a, an early warning score for a patient to say this person looks like they're deteriorating faster than they should sure. and putting a warning in the right place. Uh, and we're doing a lot of work in, in areas like uh, prioritization. So we're looking at the triaging process when someone first comes to a specialist 
how do you make sure that the right people get seen first and the sure. right information goes goes in there? Um, and now are you developing these then yourself and with the goal of like commercializing and, and sending them out into the, the greater healthcare world? Or are you looking to partner with other organizations that have some of these things already developed and just kind of fit them into the New Zealand health system? So it's a bit of both, actually. We're using New Zealand as a test bed and then taking it to the rest of the world, actually. So we're really interested in working with others around the world who are also in this space. And we're developing tools to do things like manage machine learning algorithms and de-identification of data and things that make it possible. Sure. So what, what we're really doing is supporting individual collaborations that lead to a tool that actually can be deployed all over the world. And so that's one of the reasons we're in Australia, is to find those partners that are interested in trying some of these things uh, alongside us. It's an interesting choice to be down here. Why did you decide to come down here? Yeah. So, so Australia is, you know, obviously a close market for for uh, New Zealand. But Orion Health has a major presence in Australia and always has. Traditionally, you know, Commonwealth countries have quite similar systems, and yes. so often the challenges are. Are relatively similar in terms of the way that actually healthcare is managed and so we've we find that the sort of work we do in New Zealand is really applicable here in Australia and we like to think that some of our work you know is ahead of Australia and some of it's behind and so we work together and actually you know work out the better option for both sides. Fantastic so last question for you give us a sense of what you're looking for next then like what is like what's on the horizon for you as you're kind of scaling out are you looking for additional partners are you looking for um, additional solutions that you can loop in and then like augment and add on to I mean what do you guys what's what's on the trajectory, the growth trajectory for precision driven health? Yeah, so we're really looking to work with others, uh, both in partnership, but also even customers of some of the tools that we've developed, people who actually want to try machine learning but don't really know how to get started. So we have a few tools to make that possible, so you can actually you know, put an algorithm into place without having to do all of the massive infrastructure around, around that. So we're really excited to work with others in that space. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and sharing with us. It's, it's great to speak with you. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'm Jessica DeMasso with WTF Health here at the Heise Studio at HIC 2019. Thanks for joining us.